What is up guys, it is the Citrus Panda here today, and I'm coming at you with episode 77 of our Adventure Quest Let's Play. Now, you might be wondering, hey, you haven't even made an Adventure Quest video for like 10 days or more. And I'm actually going to explain some stuff why I haven't really made a Adventure Quest video for a while. Um, so basically, the last video of Adventure Quest I made was back on the 26th of December, which I was still on break during. I started up my Log Horizon reviews again because I took a break from those, and that's pretty much what I've been doing, those Log Horizon reviews, and I also did a one, uh, one of my playing episode on Risk of Rain, which is a pretty fun game. I also wanted to do a video on Rogue Legacy, but for whatever reason, Rogue Legacy doesn't like to be recorded by Bandicam, and the frame rate drops to literally like half of what it should be. Which doesn't make any sense because the game isn't even computer intensive, and even if it was computer intensive, my computer would definitely be able to run it. And uh, I don't really know why that is, but it doesn't really matter, I just won't be able to make a video of that. Anyway, so, since it is after January, and whatnot, I have midterms. So there's not going to be a lot of videos coming, so it's pretty much like a double whammy there. I'm having midterms. Some people have them before break. I did not. My school does not have them before break. And I'm going to go through all of my awesome things I got from Frostvale this year really quickly. I have not even looked at them yet, so it'll be a pretty fun thing to look at. Also, um, basically since I do have midterms, there might be less videos. Hopefully, it shouldn't affect my video quality too much. Like not quality, but quantity too much. Hoping to still do at least two to three videos a week, hopefully. Alright, let's get started on this guy, though. Let's see here. Alright, we will use... I think we figured out that this robe is actually really good for spellcasting. So, we'll use that one. And here we go. Alright. So, basically, I kind of want to apologize for not being like... Hey, I'm, you know, not making videos. Uh, I just kind of, like, stopped all of a sudden and then kind of left you guys in the dark. But, you know, that, that's just the way of things sometimes. I don't know why I said it like that, but whatever. And also, if you haven't noticed, I am level 96. I, th I, th I think last episode I was, like, level 84 or 85. I got lots of levels over Christmas break. I made it my mission to get lots of levels. I farmed at Acroloth, got quite a few levels. Although I never really got any new spells or anything, and I never looked at these new weapons because I haven't played it for a couple days. So, let's take a look at the weapons we got from Frostvale, and it's probably in my storage, so we'll do that in a minute. This is the Frostvale shield for this year. Let's take a look at it. Alright, it's not actually like a real shield, but why don't we put this on? No, we don't have a 100. We don't have anything with 100, do we? Maybe we do. We, we could probably find one with 100 in resistance. Could we or could we not? Alright, but the one thing I think the biggest test is this. If I put this and that on, that is 46%. If I put this, it is 48%. So, you know what? It's, a, it's just a bit better. Just a little bit better than what I already have. So I can go ahead and sell the Void Vindicator. But honestly... I think since I'm level 96 now, and I haven't bought any new stuff, I've got to go around and get all my new equipment. I might find a better shield than all these. And I forget if I was actually smart enough to sell my level like 70 stuff that I bought in that one episode. And then bought back level 90 stuff. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. I, I forget. I haven't actually been playing much lately, but... We don't have the armor with us either. Alright. Well, let's just, uh, let's just run from this battle, I think. Actually, is the... We don't even have the spell with us. Alright, yeah. Let's just hit this guy one more time. And then I'm going to run for the battle. And then I'm going to go back and test something out. I'm going to test everything out, actually. So, you guys will see some pretty awesome stuff, hopefully. Also, I will see some pretty awesome stuff, hopefully. Because I want to... I hope this stuff is cool. I know that usually the stuff for the Christmas events are pretty cool in this game. I always come... The, the one thing that kept me like playing this game was that reason alone. Like The only thing I would even play in this game, I would come back every single year and then get my stuff and then probably not play again. Or like I'd play, get my new stuff, and then I'd play for a little bit, like for maybe, I don't know, like a week, and then just stop. But this, since I started the Let's Play, I've just kind of been playing this game off and on. It's quite a bit of fun. So, let's go and get all of our stuff. Actually, I want to see... Okay, 
I just wanted to check this shop really quick to see if I can get any new stuff. I'm level 90 now. So, I should be able to get some pretty awesome things. Alright, that looks pretty cool. But I guess gold. Well, I could buy it. What What is my fire weapon I currently have? Lord's Clout, level 75. I highly doubt that Lord's Clout is better than that right there. Maybe it is. Who knows? I'm level 96. I could get that. that. That's melee. Okay, that's magic right there. They changed the staff of Nihilus, uh, Nihilius or whatever it is. It looks pretty cool, actually. Did they change all of them? Let's go check if they changed the Dread staff. I remember the one called the, oh, the Dire. And then I think there was the Dread staff, too, wasn't there? Dread staff? Yeah. They changed it all. I remember the special ability on that staff. I used to love it for whatever reason. I don't really know why. Alright, so I need one more level and I can use this thing, which is awesome. So I'll be able to use that. And as for anything else, I'm going to buy that, I think. I don't know. Maybe I should buy that. That's melee. That's not ranged. I thought you could switch. Hmm. Nope. Never mind. I thought maybe you could like, switch it to ranged. Maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I thought maybe it switched it to range. But I'm not going to try that out right now. So why don't we, instead of doing any of that, we'll just kind of, kind of see what we have as far as the special weapons that we got. So, let's see, let's take that down there, and let's take this up here. Alright, so we're going to test out both the weapons we got. We're going to test out the armor that we got. What did we get here? Should be pretty nice. I'm probably just going to keep that in there, and then put the generalist robes up there, and keep the golem summoning robes out, because I don't really need them. Alright, my shields already have it. Spells. I'm guessing that this might be an ice spell. I'm not sure, but I'm going to switch it with Algor Storm. One, Algor Storm is weak, and hopefully it's an ice spell, but whatever. If it's not an ice spell, I'll, I'll get to that one. I, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Pets, uh, a ninja elf. Okay, we already have that. Uh, misc items. We already have that, and nothing for the house. I want to see how much our house sells for. 1,400 Z tokens. Forget what we bought it for. I thought maybe we bought it for 1,500 tokens. So, honestly, right now, it's not a good idea to sell it. All right, so that's a level 80 pet. I guess I probably wa I was not smart enough to rebuy anything because I'm stupid. And I still have, still have level 80 stuff, but it could have been better if I actually went back after I farmed and rebought everything, but that's all right. Let's also go to the maid shop. Actually, let's test out all of our stuff that we have, just to just to see what what things are. All right, so here is the new armor. Where is it at? Where did it go? What? I put it on. What? What is this? What? Oh my god. Okay. Um. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. Do, is Algor Storm still there too? Did nothing? Did nothing change? I'm pretty sure I went in... Okay, let me just finish this match really quick, and then... Oh, man. Oh, boy. I don't even know what happened there. Isn't that all you do? I thought you just go to a shop, and then... That works. Whatever. Uh, I might have to do something more complicated. Who knows? I'm, I'm fighting this fire guy with an ice, an ice set. Not the most effective way to kill him, but uh, here we go. Attack, and you'll, de you'll die... Alright, let's try this again. I don't know what I did wrong, actually. Alright, buy pets, inventory. What do you do? I I don't understand. I put this up. Oh, save sort order. Okay, I guess I have to do that. Hmm. I guess I didn't know I had to do that, but whatever. Uh, we'll put that right there, and we'll put that right there. How many weapons do we have? A 10 out of 10, so we're going to have to put this down here as well, just to try out those. Alright, so we can try the weapons now. We got the armor. Yeah. Shield. Spell. Better switch out the spell. Um, Algor Storm. I want to check something. If I save sword order now, do I still have the weapons up there? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, now let's go to pets, which is already there. Misc is already there. Let's exit and let's actually test our things out now. Alrighty. Also, uh, I don't think I trained my stats. Did I train my stats? Maybe I did. I, I forget. I got 150 dexterity and 65 luck. I might be able to go stat train for quite a while after getting all these levels. Because honestly, I just farmed. I would just get on and farm and nothing else. 
All right, so let's see. The pet, hmm, pretty cool. The pet is kind of simplistic, but you know what? I, I kind of like him. I kind of like him. What is this? Do I get like a, I thought I saw like a clicking option on him. Maybe not. Uh, now let's try out this Frostvale Mercenary Garb. Ooh, that looks pretty awesome. Actually, that is pretty sick. Don't know if it's good, but you know what? It's awesome. I'm going to put on that. I think the theme this year was Ninja because that's actually a... I think that's a kanji. Or not a kanji. It's just like a... It's some sort of Chinese symbol or maybe a Japanese... Katakana. I don't know too much about the Japanese language. I know there's katakana and hiragana, and they all th also use kanji, which is Chinese. That's definitely like a Chinese symbol. So I'm guessing that's kanji. Don't know what it means though. All right, so we've got this one, which is magic, and we've got this one, which is ranged. So the range is gonna hit more, but my intellect is so high that I think this thing might hit more. Uh, this is ice. So is this. So I'll definitely be switching out. Well. 8 to 25 and 8 to 24. So I'll definitely be switching out the Frost Veil, I mean Frostbite Staff, regardless of which one of these is better. But let's see. This is not the best person to test this against at all. But we'll get an idea of how much it can hit. So that's a two hit thing. It looks like one of those all time special weapons. Like it always does a special attack. So who knows? Alright, let's do this. I'm guessing this will hit more. Okay, the armor has a two-hit attack. I'm gonna leave and come back because this is not a very good representation of how good the armor is. Although I could probably could completely own this guy. How, what? Yeah, I could have killed him in like two turns, but I guess I forgot that I could switch to magic. All right. So here we go. Uh, the armor is good. The armor is very good. Let me let me rephrase that. The armor is very good. Um, let's see, that's 41, and this is 40, yep, that's 41. Alright, so this is definitely better. We are not getting good things to test out our ice weapons, but it's alright. So we've got a two-hit attack armor, which is pretty cool. I like the two-hit attack, I like, the, I like the attack of this armor. It's pretty awesome. We hit pretty decent, even when it's 80%. I'm gonna switch over to the Void Vigilante. Oh, not the Vig. I don't know why I call it the Void Vigilante. Why did I ever? Well, oh, because it is the Void Vigilante. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I was wondering why I called it the Void Vigilante. All right. Special attack. Pretty good. It holds my foe in place. Unable to move. All right. This sword is amazing. I love it. Does it always do that? Holy crap. That is kind of OP. If you can just, if you had the luck to do that a bunch of times in a row, that would be awesome. Alright, so, uh, this armor is not as good. S neither is the shield. So I can go ahead and sell the shields that I had before. Um, I'm gonna sell the shuriken, and I'm gonna sell this staff and replace it with just this. And I'll have one more slot. And I'll put back whatever was there. Let's see, helps you strike from the shadows, boosting your decks, and lowering darkness damage you take. Alright, uh, does this also, oh, it gives decent darkness resistance as well, not the best, but if you needed like a hybrid between light, I mean between ice and darkness, that works pretty well. Let's see here. Alright, um, what was I trying to do? Oh yes, items, I'm stupid, sorry. Oh, what is this? Is this from the thing? Astromorph? Who knows? We'll do it in a second. Alright, let's put this grenade thing on and see what it does. Activating item. Yes, no, maybe so. Alright, so it took a little while to load there, but now we're back. And I don't see what it's doing, but maybe we click it. Oh, okay. So you switch on the smoke generator. Ready to throw it. All right, what do we do? Attack and it throws it, or what happens? Ooh, cool. Smoke has blinded your foe. All right, what does that do? Does that, it just blinds them, but doesn't it do something else? I'm pretty sure it does something else. It says, I, it said it did. Click it to throw it each turn. Um, this little number helps you strike from the shadows, boosting your dexterity. Ah. Okay, yes, my dexterity is definitely boosting, and lowering darkness damage you take, it doesn't boost your resistance to darkness, but maybe it reduces the damage you take from it, so that's pretty cool. 
Also, I just noticed I wanted to check the resistances on the combat defenses, and these things are pretty amazing. Well, they're not the best, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good, especially to melee. And I have 185 dexterity, so yeah, that also helps me dodge attacks and whatnot. Alrighty, so let's, let's why don't we use a spell here. Uh, what do we use? Let's use Purity Portal, why not? I don't think it's really a spell casting armor, but it's a, just a good good defensive armor for ice, definitely. And does that take a lot of SP, I'm wondering? I, I think that pet is good, but I don't really use attacking pets. Honestly, unless you're a, unless you have charisma on your character, I don't think it's worth having. I don't think on in any situation it's not really worth having an attack pet. Maybe a nerf kitten, but other than a nerf kitten, I don't think it's really worth it. Also, I think that you can if you have it activated, then it takes SP, but other than that, I don't think it does. Let me oh, uh, I take that back. I'm trying to deactivate it. So let me let me try to deactivate it and see if it takes less SP. The idea that I'm trying to see is can I um like de de-equip it? Yeah, there you go. Equip it and then I don't click on it and then here we go. Like just hit him and then not throw it. I guess you have to throw it. So yeah, I don't know. It's actually pretty helpful, honestly, because it does blind the foe and they have a less uh, high chance of hitting you. So it's it's pretty decent. Shatter to the fourth wall. Hmm. Ah, well, can't actually do that right now. Let's uh, lead this battle really quick. And let's sort things out. Alright, let's go to Warlock Shop. Buy spells, expert spells, inventory. Alright, so what can we do? We can sell this shield first of all. This new shield is a lot better. Although at this point I can probably buy the next Vigilante set. So I might want to check that one out. I'm going to sell that. Here we go. Uh, I don't really need that right now. But I'm going to be selling the Frostbite Staff. I'm going to be selling this shuriken because I don't like it and I'm gonna put uh, uh, that's already there so I'm good with that uh, that's already good I'm going I've never used I did not use the spell I'm stupid let me go use the spell really quick oh man I'm stupid it's like the one thing that I probably would use the most and I didn't even try it out alright so here we go that's ice 75% uh, what what wait 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 229 SP and it's a spell. Why? Why? Hmm. That's weird. All right, let's uh, let's get enough uh, MP SP for this. I don't understand because like on the on the thing it says. Wait, I want to show you this. I don't know if you saw it. Not enough a MP SP HP. So does is it just saying that as like a general rule of thumb? Like it's just saying you don't have the sufficient amount of one of those. Probably that's probably what it meant. I'm just uh, thinking too much into this. All right, let's find the energy. Okay, energy sevis. Here we go. Um, we should have enough next turn, possibly. Uh, how much does it take? Two hundred twenty-nine, two hundred fifty-nine. I don't know. Can't remember. Here we go. Let's see what this is. It's a regen, so I'm guessing it heals. Okay, I heal a small amount each turn. That could be very, very, very beneficial. Although it only does it for two rounds, so I really don't know how beneficial it is. Eh, it heals a little bit. Let's see how much it can actually heal. Let me let me do this one more time. All right. Um, I'm gonna try to see how much it actually heals this time. Fifteen. Not worth it, unfortunately. It's an interesting spell, but for that much SP, it's definitely not worth it. By no stretch of the imagination. Uh, it costs way too much SP. It takes away one of my spell slots. And it doesn't even heal that much in the initial heal. Because it does heal like a little bit as like an initial heal. And then it starts regening. Uh, if the regen was like 90 per turn. Like the actual spell. Like the spell heals you 90. And then continues to heal you 90. It might have been a pretty cool idea. But uh, for me at least. I'm not going to be using it. So why don't we get Alger Storm back up in here. Uh, take this back down here. Uh, save sword order because I didn't do that before so we have to do, redo that again. No because I sold everything before. Okay, we're good We are good today um, Here we go And we should be good to go now. Actually, I'm gonna go to buy spells expert spells 
spells and then find the an ice spell please yes okay ice nine thank 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 you thank you i need a new ice spell there's such a gap between auger storm and the next ice spell so i'm glad that i could get another ice spell here we go ice nine save sword order exit whoops i probably should have just got back to shop let's see what other spells we can buy because we just have so much uh well not so much money but we're such a high level now all right we're not gonna take that unfortunately it's just not what we want also we're not gonna take that this is a bit risky i like the idea and it hits a lot but it's very risky it's very risky because you don't know what's gonna happen and that's literally it wow okay well I was expecting more. I was expecting more from you. You stupid shop. You don't even have anything good. Okay. Let's go to weapons really quick. Shields. What do we have in the shield department? Eh. Eh. Just, uh. Just some um, general shields. Let's not take any of those. We don't need armors. Weapons is what I was looking for. Alright. Now we can probably get better weapons. Let's see here. Alright, Galaxy Wand as a light weapon. I used to have one of these, but it was a different a different level. So it was some sort of it was the same model but a different level. Lightning Rod, Spirit Hunter Scythe. That's that is not regular money, that's Z tokens. Eye of the Sphinx. I remember that being pretty good, but it also summoned did that is that the thing that summons the Sphinx or is that the special No, the special attack for the blade was summoning a sphinx and it could sometimes heal them because if you were attacking something that was strictly you strictly had to attack with wind uh, it was bad so that's awesome i want that doesn't that isn't that like what the big 100k looks like uh maybe did they change the name of it the big 100k to requiem still pretty awesome i still want it um Definitely get that because we don't have any darkness weapons. So sell the unholy water. Um, we will buy this. No, not that. That is level 48 weapon. That is a bad idea. We will buy the profane water. Buy it. Here we go. Also, we're gonna buy. I'm guessing we'll buy. Well, what what do we have right now? Our late weapon is that one zombie one. We'll have to request to get the. Uh, good weapons in those categories what do we have as an energy weapon definitely get rid of this we'll have to re request to get this this and I don't know what else just these two I think and we're gonna do a wind weapon possibly hopefully there's a new wind weapon maybe there is and maybe there's not that's the only new wind weapon ah come on that has to be another good wind weapon somewhere but apparently not so let's buy this um did we sell the, the the one that we just had the wind weapon or no no we did not all right so we've got we've got good stuff going on we've got every single element we'll have to request to get these new ones because we're level 90 now uh while i'm there i also request to get the new armors uh it's a big gap of uh, a jump that i took between the episodes so um it should be interesting I don't know if I'll, I'll probably do all this on camera just because I want to do it on, all on camera. I don't know why. I just want to. Also, I have quite a bit of money, as you can see, 4.1 mil, which is quite a bit of money. So we'll use that at, to our advantage with all the money that we have. And the game is frozen, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, never mind. Right when I said it didn't, it didn't. All right. So let's back out of here. Let's exit. And we're going to check one more thing. Um, the Guardian Shop. Here, where is that? Okay, here we go. Um, that's a little 100. Alright, we still can't buy the next one, but we could buy that. But we don't want that, so exit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was pretty much me just kind of telling you what's going on, why I haven't been making Adventure Quest videos, why I haven't been making too many YouTube videos in general. And kind of explain to you all the stuff that I got from the event. And what uh, my character is doing now. So... Uh, can I not run seriously from Bunyip's yet? What? How much SP do I need? Ah, uh, okay. It was the it was the first phase. I just couldn't run away yet. I wanted to check one more thing before I end the video. So hello, visit the stat tra stat trainer. Sorry. Um, do I have any I can train? No, that's not what I wanted. Luck and 
Uh, I have 65 st trainable stat points. All right, I'll do that right now. So, for next video, hopefully I'll have all my stat points, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.